Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Amy. I'm also known as Ninets here on YouTube and on Instagram. I love and, and obsess with all things knitting, yarn, and knitting projects. So here we talk about all of those things. And today is all about knitting patterns for the holiday gift giving season. I can't believe that November is here. So I've already gathered you guys a list of 11 patterns, both free and paid, ranging from beginner to intermediate level that you can knit for your gift list. So if you're interested in some inspiration for some holiday gift knitting, stick around. Got my coffee. <laughs> like I said in my intro, I can't believe that it's November already. I feel like the fall sped by and now I see Christmas advertisements on TV everywhere now and people are starting to decorate for their apartments. So I wanted to gather some ideas for knitting patterns that you can knit for gifts. So when I was looking around on the internet, I was looking for a variety of skill levels, things that can be completed both relatively quickly, but I also have a few more more elaborate projects that I'll share with you just in case you may not be knitting for a whole slew of people. Maybe you just have one significant friend or family member that you might be wanting to knit a very nice gift for them this year. So I have 11 patterns and I'm going to go through them all with you. I have them all written down in my notebook here so I'll be looking at this for reference. In terms of the order of the patterns I'm going to start with things that are quicker and smaller gifts and then as we ramp up towards the end of the list the projects are going to get a little bit more complicated maybe take a little bit while longer to make. So we will start with the first pattern here and this is the Knitted Soap Saver which is a free pattern by the Needles in Life blog. She also has a couple other free patterns on her blog so feel free to check it out. I think this is such a cute little idea. It's a knitted cotton drawstring bag for a bar of soap and I think if you knit it and paired it with maybe a handmade bar of soap from one of your local artisans or a local Etsy shop. It would be such a cute little Christmas gift. The pattern calls for 50 yards of worsted cotton. Um, she recommends Dishy by Knit Picks. And you can also sub in any sort of worsted cotton like Lion Brand 24-7 is really nice. You could also use Lily Sugar and Cream, which is pretty widely available at most craft stores and you definitely could make this in a day or less. I would call this a beginner level pattern, maybe advanced beginner because it is knit in the round and it has some items like yarn overs and um, depending on what you're using to knit in the round, Magic Loop or DPNs might be a little bit more complex if you're just starting out knitting, but definitely a cute pattern. So yeah, I would check that out as the first one. The next item on the list is the Hillside Headband, which is one of my own patterns. This is a very beginner level pattern. It's made out of super bulky yarn. I use Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick, which is also pretty widely accessible at most craft stores. It's this really nice, thick and cozy, 20% wool, 80% acrylic blend yarn. So it's considered easy care, which I think is great when you're gifting something to somebody who may not be in the knitting circle. The fact that they can machine wash and dry it may mean a lot to them because a lot of people who don't have experience with hand knits might not want to hand knit an item that they were given. So just keep that in mind when you're gifting someone with a hand knit item. But the Hillside Headband, and I'll grab it. I have one over here. So this is a cute little cozy um, twisted headband and the pattern is beginner level. It involves just knit and purl stitches. It's knit flat and the little twist seam at the end is outlined in the pattern. I have a little photo tutorial and I think this is a great gift for Christmas time because you're right on the cusp of the colder winter. And it's a great headband piece for covering your ears. Maybe if someone likes to walk their dog during the morning when it's cold and has their hair in a ponytail or sometimes people just aren't hat people and this is a great alternative. And there's lots of color options that you can make this headband out of. Um, you also could sub in any other kind of bulky yarn. I actually saw recently a twisted headband. It was a crochet pattern but it's made out of the Lion Brand Gopher Fleece yarn, which makes this really cool like fleecy effect. It, it doesn't even look like knit fabric. It just looks like a cohesive piece of fleece. And I think if you made this pattern with that yarn, it would be super cute. Um, so I'll link those down below as well. 
The next pattern that I would recommend is the Aosta Cushion by the Knit Pearl Girl. So this is a home knitting pattern. It's a cute little pillow made out of the Andalusian stitch, which is um, just involves knit and pearl stitches, but it has a really striking effect when it's all put together. You have some great texture. The yarn that she calls for is Lopi Plata Lupi held with mohair, and it creates this really nice rustic textured pillow that I think would be a great accent in anybody's home. It's knit on seven millimeter needles. You will also need a pillow insert to go with it and it's knit in the round and as you get close to the end you stick the pillow insert into the tube of fabric that you've knit and then you close it off with the Kitchener stitch. So I would call this a advanced beginner intermediate level pattern um, because it's knit on seven millimeter needles, I would say it works up pretty quickly. I haven't made the pattern myself yet, but seven millimeter needles, pretty chunky. If you don't have seven millimeter needles, cause those can be hard to find here in the U S you could definitely do eight millimeter, six and a half millimeter and adjust your gauge with some sort of bulky weight yarn for that. And the possibilities I feel like are endless when you have your world of yarns to choose from for the pillow. And I find home items to be very giftable just because you don't have to worry about their size and shaping when making a garment. You know, those are pretty specific to the recipient's size and how they like to wear things. So I feel like a home piece like a pillow is sort of a no-fail gift. Ooh, hot, but it's good. Okay, the next pattern I wanna talk about is also a home item pattern, and this is the Waverly Hand Towel by Two of Wands. This is a paid pattern you can find on her website, and it's a beginner level pattern. It's knit flat, it's knit with five millimeter needles, it involves knit, pearl, and slip stitches to create this beautiful waffled texture on the dish towel, and she uses the yarn Reup. This is an older pattern, and the yarn Reup by Lion Brand has actually been discontinued. I believe it was a recycled cotton, like a worsted recycled cotton, but I'm not really sure. Um, my recommendations for yarns instead would be Knit Picks Dishy, or, which is called Dishy because it's meant for dish towels and the like, or you could use Lion Brand 24-7 Cotton, or Lily Sugar and Cream. I believe those are all machine washable and dryable, so very friendly to kitchen towel fabrics and in terms of gifting it and packaging it, it would be great as a standalone gift. I think it would be super cute if you made it in coordinating colors like a set, or you could even pair it with something like a cheese board or cheese knives, maybe even a bottle of wine. And I think that's a really nice idea to sort of pair something hand knit with a normal gift item to sort of make it a cute little gift package. Two of Wands also has a lot of other dish towel patterns on her website if you check it out. So for some reason, this specific texture on the Waverly hand towel isn't really your thing. I would go ahead, check out her website. She's got a lot more. All right, so all of those first four patterns, relatively quick in terms of timing. As we go through the list, these patterns are gonna be a little bit bigger, may take a little bit longer. So this next one here is the Arbor Scarf by the All About Ami blog. And this is a really oversized, long, scarf that has, again, kind of that similar waffle texture as some of the other patterns that I've mentioned that just uses knit and pearl stitches as well as slip stitches to create. And she uses Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick. So it's knit on nine millimeter needles. So again, very chunky knit. It's gonna make a very warm and thick garment. And I've actually made this before, so I'm gonna grab it and show you guys what it looks like, the finished product. Here it is. All right, this is a monster of a scarf, and I think that makes it so much more giftable than just a more basic scarf that might not be as long, might not be as oversized. She has the fringe at the end, and her pattern also includes instructions to add little pockets to the end, which I think is so cute. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is a free pattern, so go check out her blog. You can make this today without buying the pattern, without spending any money on the pattern. And yeah, I think it looks really striking wrapped up like this. If you have a gift recipient who lives in a colder climate, I think this is gonna be perfect for them. And Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick makes this really thick fabric. It has a whole wide range of colors, so you could easily choose something that is neutral and may match their winter coat or something that fits their personality more. <laughs> Gotta fix my hair. Lots of try-ons in this video. So yeah, that's the Arbor Scarf. 
Again, everything will be linked below. The next one here that I suggest is infamous in the knitting world. If you've been knitting for a while, you've definitely heard of this pattern. You might have made it yourself, and that is the Oslo hat by Petite Knit. And this hat is just like your quintessential cozy winter beanie. And Petite Knit, I feel like really mastered how to make a basic beanie, and it, it just looks so good. So I've also made it myself, so I'll show it to you guys. We'll swap the scarf for the hat. So yeah, this is the Oslo hat. It's knit on three and a half millimeter needles, mostly stockinette stitch. It does involve a German short row turn and it does have decreases at the crown. So again, I would say this is about a intermediate or beginner, advanced beginner level pattern. Uh, don't let the three and a half millimeter needles scare you because the majority of this, it's knit in the round and it's stockinette stitch. I find it knits up a lot faster than you might expect it to knit. I believe I made this in about a week. Um, yeah, so it's pretty quick knit. I'll try it on. I mean, that's nice. This this like doesn't look hand knit at all. This looks like I picked this up at the mall. But if I picked it up at the mall, it most likely would not be 80% wool, which is the content of this hat. If you use the recommended yarn, um, Filcolana Arweta Classic, that's an 80% wool, 20% nylon blend. Or you can use Sunday by San Nascarn, which is also a merino wool yarn it uses fingering weight yarn held double so you could do that or you could do a dk weight yarn held single and lots of options with this hat would recommend this is a paid pattern as all petite knit patterns are but great gift essential i need to make like a whole rainbow of these just because i love this hat so much Okay, the next pattern that I have on the list is called the Bindle Bag by Ozetta. This is a really cute accessory. It's a paid pattern. It is this really nice sort of tie top bag that could be used for knitting projects. It could be used for makeup, could be used for little odds and ends. And I really like the effect that the stitch pattern has on the bag combined with the sort of heatheredness of the yarn. It uses four millimeter needles and it is a lace mohair held with a fingering weight wool. Uh, that's what she recommends in the pattern and sort of creates this really nice multicolored gray heathered effect in her sample piece. It does have two different sizes, so you can make a smaller or a larger bag. I would say this is a more intermediate level pattern. It involves knitting in the round. It's knit on four millimeter needles. It involves German short rows, picking up stitches, as well as the tubular bind off. So a little bit more involved if you know someone and who would appreciate a knit bag like this. I think this is a really modern take on a knit bag that would be very nice in anybody's home. So the next pattern here, this is pattern number eight. <laughs> It is a blanket and it's a free blanket by Two of Wands. It is the Moonstone Plaid Blanket. Now I know what you're thinking, wow, a blanket before Christmas and it's already November. Now I'm not saying if you're doing a lot of gift knitting that you should knit blankets for everybody. I'm thinking more, maybe you only have, um, maybe you only wanna knit one big gift for someone this year and you're doing the rest of your gifts, maybe store-bought or buying from other small shops. So if you, want to focus on just one big holiday knit this year, I think a blanket's a great idea. So this Moonstone plaid blanket by Two of Wands, I think is a really cool take on a knit blanket. So it uses four colors of her Hue and Me yarn that she collaborated with Lion Brand yarn to make. So you have one main color and then three contrasting colors. And it has this really nice plaid effect that I think a lot of people would be surprised that it's hand knit and the secret to the plaid effect is that you knit the horizontal stripes but then the vertical striping is added at the end sort of in like a weaving pattern so you actually have to weave long strands of yarn into the blanket when it's done knitting so this is i would say a beginner level pattern because the only knit thing you need to know how to do is the knit stitch it's knit flat it's all garter stitch um, you also need to know how to change colors of yarn and then you add the plaid effect afterwards. So I think that would be a great fun project. There's so many color 
combinations you can make with the Hue and Me yarn. The color palette is immaculate. Really nice muted colors, really nice neutrals, got some bright pops of color. And I actually brainstormed a few color combos if I were to make the blanket myself. So I'll list them out for you and show them on the screen just because I think it's really fun to pick out different colors. So if you wanted a more neutral blanket, you could start with salt and then add macchiato, shadow, and desert as your contrasting colors. If you wanted to do a very Christmas themed blanket, you could also start with salt, do fatigues, love song, and shadow as well. And I decided to do something different than the salt multicolor. I really like blue, so I was like, hmm, what if I made a blue blanket? So you could start with harbor as your main color, do peacoat, magic hour, and arrowwood as your contrasting colors. Those are just my ideas. Obviously, the world is your oyster when picking out color combos for blankets. Now, if the weaving isn't really your thing, which it might not be, maybe you just like the knitting experience, Two of Wands also has another free blanket pattern on her website, and that is the Harvest Throw, and it's also made out of her Hue and Me yarn, which is machine washable and dryable. So I think that benefits the gift giving aspect of the pattern. And the Harvest Throw is made out of a single color, just knit and pearl stitches to create this beautiful chevron texture. And you add the fringe at the end. I think it's a really nice piece. And oh, I forgot to mention, Hue and Me is a bulky weight yarn and it's knit on relatively large needles, these blankets. The Moonstone blanket calls for 10 millimeter needles where the Harvest Throw blanket calls for eight millimeter needles. So pretty chunky needles, pretty chunky knit. So I think it would go by pretty quickly. And I think you could finish it by Christmas if you started it this week. We're almost at the end. <laughs> This is a really cute hat and mitten set. Two separate paid patterns that are not really advertised as a matching set, but I think they coordinate really well. And that is the Emile Beanie and the Posy Mitts, both by Bluebird Pine Shop. And these hats and mittens are both knit out of the petite wool on six millimeter needles. It has very intricate cabling and flower stitch design. Looks more intricate than it is. You know, it uses cable needles, but there is a photo tutorial on how to make the flower stitch in the pattern. So I think that's really helpful. And I've actually made these myself, so more show and tell. So this is the Emile Beanie. I knit it in the We Are Knitters Petite Wool and Forest Green. And you can see the really nice texture from the cables. You got the folded rib band. I topped it with a faux fur pom-pom that you can pick up at your local craft store. And it's just a really nice fitting hat. I mean, that's super cute, super wintry. The pattern comes in sizes baby through adult, so you could make it for anyone who's a baby through an adult, which is awesome. I love when hats come with multiple sizes in the pattern. And the mittens I have right here I mean, aren't they so cute? We've got to show you the right side. There we go. So there's that flower stitch that sort of goes with the hat. Can you guys see? There we go. So the mittens also come in multiple sizes in the single pattern. So it comes in sizes toddler through toddler through adult. And the adult has two sizes. Um, so yeah, you can really customize it to your recipient. The petite wool is a really nice cozy wool. However, it's not machine washable or machine dryable. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking of giving it to someone. There we go. So cute. So Christmassy too. I feel like this green is like, ah, perfect for the holidays. Um, if your gift recipient, you don't think they would handle hand washing their knits well, uh, We Are Knitters also has the Merry Wool, which is the same weight yarn as the petite wool. It's merino wool that is super wash, so it is able to be machine washed and dried. You could also sub any other sort of errand weight yarn for this pattern. And all right, we'll move on to the last gift on the list. All right, this last one here is pretty complex, kind of similar line with the blanket. You would not be able to make more than, more than one of these for the holidays if you started now. I don't think, maybe you're really fast knitter, but you could. But So this is the free Cambria wrap pattern by Two of Wands. And I showed this in my first podcast and you guys really loved it. So I really wanted to add it to this list just because it's such a striking knit piece. It's an oversized triangle wrap 
and it's so cozy it can be worn as like a scarf or a shawl perfect for the winter time if someone goes outside a lot also perfect for someone who might work in an office that just might be too cold i know my office air conditioning is always too cold so the cambria wrap by two of wands she calls for a touch of alpaca yarn i actually use woolies the worsted weight version in mine which i'll grab So yeah, I use Woolies in the color Oatmeal. I knit this over the summer and I blocked it, added tassels to it, and I mean, that is an awesome gift for like your sister, your mom, your best friend. Like this means a lot. And I think any non-knitter would be able to tell that a lot of time and effort went into this gift. So if you're looking for something with a lot of meaning, for someone, I think it would be an excellent pattern to make. And it's free, which is a bonus. So I'll just show it to you guys wrapped. It has some knit pearls, <laughs> knit and furl stitches, has some lace stitches or like lace sections with some yarn overs to create um, these sections here. It's a great way to practice um, your knitting skills just because every section is a different stitch pattern. And she does give instructions on how to make the cute little tassels. So if you've never made tassels before, you can learn how to do that in the free pattern. I think that's all I have for you guys. I just went through my whole list. So hopefully you guys felt inspired to make some holiday projects or felt inspired maybe to make something for yourself that's fine perfectly acceptable like i said before all of the patterns will be linked below in the description thank you guys for watching see you next time <laughs>